How does it feel to potentially be one of the healthiest women in the world right now? I have so much imposter syndrome about that. It's probably been about a year and a half now when I first, like overnight, jumped two feet into doing female protocol. It was a question of what would happen if someone implements Brian's protocol and they are a different age and they're also a different sex. Kate Tolo is the first woman to test Brian Johnson's blueprint, pushing the limits of science to see if his anti-aging protocol works for women. How do you deal with an intense protocol? Because women's hormones flux. A lot of people don't even know where they're at in the cycle, what that impact has on their health. If you know that when you have these cravings, you can actually relate to it. Do you have these moments of urges of cravings. I might have some more berries. <laughs> Do you still feel a bit ostracized? Like, are there things that you miss? Honestly, don't feel ostracized. Occasionally, I'll still have like the urge to be like, fuck it, let's just like go wild. I was literally having this urge last week and I was like, maybe I should have like a die day. How have you dealt with putting yourself out in the public? All of the more negative comments, I view them as like kind of expected. You really play into kind of the negative comments and even kind of calling it a cult. In fact, I'd probably call us a religion. If anything, we're a lifestyle of behaviors. We're a belief system. Instead of promising the afterlife, we're promising a longer this life. So for someone listening to this, especially as a woman, what are the three things that they should implement to support their health? Firstly, would focus on 